to something that you're very familiar with, this interim report from the Royal Commission into Defence and Veteran Suicide. Uh, the former Defence Chief, Sir Peter Cosgrove, made some comments last weekend. Um, he reacted to the report by basically saying senior ADF personnel can't be amateur psychiatrists. That has seen some war veterans today slamming the comments as ignorant and damaging. I would have thought, and I said this to Nick Caldos, one of the... Royal Commissioners last weekend on the program, the ADF has to provide psychiatric support for soldiers before, during and after service, don't they? Oh, uh, yeah, they absolutely do. But they also, um, you know, people need to be very aware, it shouldn't matter what level, what rank you are in the military, um, that we should be having just that basic training on recognising when somebody is having um, mental instability or, you know, a, a down on their luck. And I mean, seriously, we do all these training courses that we do. This could be taught at the very basic level, going through our basic training, just two hours then, with somebody with a specialist there that can teach us to identify when somebody's not handling things very well and what pathways we should send them um, so they can get the help that they need. Nobody's asking them to sit down and be a counsellor for an hour. We just need to be very open and honest about what is going on in there. And the simplest way is start teaching those, start teaching um, that sort of stuff, you know, right from day one. I, I just can't see why we can't do that. None of this is in subject courses you don't learn anything about um, mental health when you are going through your basic training at the PUCA. What is wrong? I mean, they can bring in someone to teach girls how to groom themselves for an hour. They can't bring, you know, cannot bring in a mental health specialist to tell us what the warning signs look like and where, where we send them in the armed forces. If they don't want to go there because they're too scared to, who do we send them to on the outside? Yeah, and that's all you need to do. You just need that middle management, that leadership to be able to pick the warning signs, not to counsel them, not to go through that process yeah. as yeah. an amateur psychiatrist. Pick the warning signs and funnel them through to the right professionals. Um, yeah, I can understand why some of those veterans are upset at what Peter Cosgrove had to say last weekend. Now, as a Taswegian, Jackie, what are your thoughts about a de-extinction <laughs> company genetically resurrecting the Tasmanian tiger? Come on. <sighs> Oh, we're all a bit concerned, mate. It might end up like as big as a dinosaur. We're a little bit, bit worried about the uh, genetic <laughs> stuff. But um, honestly, uh, if you're going to do it, can you, mate? We know what they're like. You know, they've got that locked jaw. They are vicious. So if they can do that on the mainland in case they get loose again, that'd be great. So we can close our borders to the bloody things, mate. <laughs> but um, seriously, I uh, look, if you could do that sort of thing, I, I'm not sure about mucking around with science like that. Um, you know, we just don't tell you mainlanders. We actually do have them running around down here, mate. But, uh, you know, we're already flooded with this. And we just don't want you down here with your binoculars, I'll be honest with you. So yeah. we go, they're all right and well down in Tasmania, mate. Simple that's as what, that. That's what would happen. Now, but after the Tasmanian tiger, Jackie, we could consider resurrecting a few permanent Jackie Lambies into the future once you left us, you see? Oh, absolutely. And take my DNA and make them now, mate, and bring that forward. That'd be fabulous. <laughs> Watch me take over Australia. You won't you need enjoy... to worry about any other prime ministers. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy your week. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks for having me on. Good on you, Jackie Lambie.